So, so as I deal with part two of should Christian knock on wood or blow candles or believe in broken mirror and black cat and Friday the 13th or a cat crossing the street before you. Superstition, my friend. There's a lot of people that are so superstitious. They're so deep, my friend. They're so religious. They're super religious. Anytime you are a Christian, the only thing we believe in, believe in God, praying to God, we don't make wishes. We don't knock on wood. We don't blow no candles. We don't wish upon a fallen star. Amen. If you are a person that wishing upon a fallen star, you are so superstitious. If you walk under an umbrella in the house, you are so superstitious. And people are superstitious by, by eating uh, uh, beans on, on uh, January the 1st. So you're going to have good luck. I don't believe in luck. Luck is not for the Christian. We believe in blessing and cursing. There ain't nothing in between. So when Paul was at Athens and he went to an inscription to the own to the unknown God whom you ignorant worship, him I declare unto you. And there's a lot of people, listen my friend, there's a lot of people that don't believe, hallelujah, in God. There are people who go to, they are so superstitious, my friend. They don't, they don't. And by you not believing in the word of God, you become very superstitious. We have been people of God. We got to believe the word of God 110%. We can't say we, we believe half of the word. We can't say we believe most of the word. We got to believe all the word. Because the Bible say all scripture is given by inspiration of God. That means all scripture God breathed on it. That's why I tell people, I don't believe the book of Enoch. I don't believe the book of, of, of Philip. I don't believe the book of Matthew. I don't believe the book of, 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 of Mary. But I believe the 66 books of the Bible because the word of God is the sure things in our life. But people are superstitions. People, they'll, they'll hold a conversation and soon later they start knocking on wood. <laughs> Glory to God. They, they, have, they have lucky charm around their neck. They, they have horseshoes in their pocket. Yes, horseshoe, my friend. They believe in horseshoe. They believe in the lucky charm. They're wearing charms around their neck trying to give them a good luck. They kiss the cross. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They, 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 they kiss the Bible. But never read the Bible. They kiss the Bible. They hold the Bible. They to the Bible. Listen, my friend. You got to read, believe, and live the Bible for things to happen in your life. It's not about how to knock on wood or blow candles for your birthday. I don't believe in birthdays, my friend. I thank God for every year, but I don't. I don't believe in somebody buying me a, me a cake and me blowing upon it and making a wish. Cause half the wish don't come to pass. Y'all believe y'all y'all telling your children about fruit our uh, fruit our uh, uh, tooth fairy. You put your you put your tooth under under the pillow and a fruit fairy gonna come and come and give and bless you with a gift. Come on, people of God. Y'all believe in uh you go to the beach like I mentioned before. I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just making reference to making this part two of going deep in the depth what Paul was going after, what Paul was saying, y'all's too superstition. That's too y'all too superstitious. I go by and you have an altar to the unknown God whom you ignorantly worship. You worshiping a God you don't know. That's why I have to block, I have to block this guy off my channel because he say he believe in 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 the spiritual in a, the spiritual light of God, God light. He don't believe in Jesus. He don't believe in God. He don't believe in the Bible. Amen. Come on. Amen. I'm telling you there are people that are, at any time you are superstitious, you are witchery. 
Well, I say, if you are superstitious, you become into cult. You're a cult. You are, you are into tradition and costumes. All these things, my friend, add up to you not being, being having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You're too religious. You open your, your shirt and on it is an S. Super religious. God wants us to have a, a personal relationship with him, not being religious. That's why people don't. People, that's why people don't read huh, the book of Matthew, the twenty third, the twenty third chapter. When we talk about the Pharisees and the scribes, and I'm, and I'm gonna get to that, my friend. But Paul, when Paul was was going, this is what I say. Paul say, then Paul stood in the midst of the Mar Hill and said, "Ye men of Athens." And I wonder, does this word Athens mean atheist? I perceive, I understand that in all things you are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotion, I held by and see your table. Your table will found an altar with inscription to the unknown God whom he therefore ignorant worship him I declare unto you. Now I make I, I have surveys on my on my on my uh, channel and I, and I hope y'all can go to the you call, call the community tab and I ask people the question. What's the difference between a stage and an altar? A stage is entertainment and an altar where we, we, we acknowledge God. We acknowledge, uh, glory to God, God, uh, in this in due remembrance of me when we do uh, um, communion. The blood representing the wine and, 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 and the bread represent the body. But if you are not saved, you should not take the Lord's Supper. Amen. Because you're doing, you're doing harm to yourself. What well, I say, if you are not saved, you should let the cup and the bread pass you. If you go visit the church and they do communion, you should ask them, glory to God, what does this mean? You just don't take something that you don't mean. You don't know the meaning of. So the altar is those that, that's why altar call is very important. If your church does not do altar call, hallelujah, I, I, I would recommend you still find you another church. If your church does not do altar call, a time when it's set aside to call sinners to repent. A time, glory to God, that's set aside and call people for prayer. A time where, glory to God, they come and say that, glory to God, they like to sell something. I'm telling you the difference between altar and stage. Now, stage is entertainment. Stage now, hey, where those do acting. That's why I tell people that the house of God is not a place for community uh, 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 comedy show. Because they make mockery of preachers. They make mockery of God. They make mock and the Bible says, be not see God and not my whatsoever man so so shall we so shall we if it's so to the flesh corruption if it's so to the spirit life everlasting but I'm saying to you that's watching the video don't be too superstitious don't believe in no broken mirror seven years of bad luck you go in an umbrella you open umbrella bad luck you believe in Father 13 bad luck you see a black cat, bad luck. You knock on wood. <laughs> you saying that this is hallelujah, a uh, surety thing. You blow the candle, hallelujah. Every year you're gonna blow the candle and wish it, wish upon something to happen. My friend, come on, you are too superstitious. So Paul say, I'm gonna tell you who God is. God is, and he say, glory to God, in verse 24, God has made the world and all things therein, seeing that he's the Lord of heaven and earth, doing it not in temples made with hands. And a lot of you all that go to church, you are the church. We go in the building for fellowship because more than one fella in the ship. And he say, neither is worship with man's hand as though he needed anything, seeing he given all to all life and breath and all things. 
and have made of one blood all nation of men to dwell on the face of the earth and to have de determined the time before appointed the, 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 the bounds of their habitation that they should seek the Lord if happily they might feel after him and find him though he be not far from every one of you. God is not in a distant place. God is right beside you. I heard a song that God is in a distant place. No, my friend, God is near you. Hallelujah, glory in him. And, and the Bible says, verse 28, for in him we live and move and have our being as certain also of your own point have said, for we are the offspring, for, for we are also his offspring. 29, for as much then as we, we are the offspring of God, we are not to think the Godhead is like unto gold, or silver, or stone, or graven by art of men devices. What Paul was saying that God, you can't make a God out of stone. You can't make God a, a graven art or man devices. You can't have a picture of Jesus, whether he's black or white, or Puerto Rican, or Chinese, or Japanese. My friend, God is a spirit. I don't, I don't see a picture of Jesus, because Jesus was Jew. He wasn't no black man. He wasn't no white man. He wasn't a European man. He wasn't a Japanese man, Chinese man. But Jesus Christ was a Jew. He was no, he was no black man with big lips and nappy hair. <laughs> Glory to God. Take that picture down your house. You you got a you got a picture of a white man and all these other white person sitting around a table. Jesus was not white with blue eyes and long hair. Jesus was no hippie. Hallelujah. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Graven images is a sin. Amen. So Paul was telling the Athens, you are too superstitious, and we're living. My mother was superstitious. She used to always go and tell me, son, get me a newspaper so I can read the stars, so I can read my horoscope. Anytime you're a horoscope reader, you're a witch. Amen. So, so he was saying that, uh, verse 30, and the time of you is of this ignorant God winked at you, but now command of all everywhere to repent. God is saying, Paul is saying, you all need to repent. If you are superstitious, you need to repent. Repent me to turn from your superstitious. Turn from your religiousness. 31 because he have appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he have ordained whereof he have given assur assurance unto all men in that have raised him from the dead Paul was talking about Jesus Jesus was a man he died at 33 years old he was born in a stable he died on a on on, on Calvary's cross that's why I tell people, hey, you can't be a friend with a with a with a Muslim and go to the temple and you pray with them. What you praying to? You praying to a moon. They believe in the moon god. Miss Elijah Muhammad introduced a, a, a Muhammad to the moon god. That's why on their flag you see a moon because they worship a moon. Hallelujah. Verse 32. And when they have heard the resurrection of the dead, some mocked and other, we will hear thee of this matter. So, and the Bible says, verse 33. So Paul departed from among them. Now I'm telling people, my friend, you can't be too, too superstitious. You can't be superstitious, period. Don't believe in lucky charm. Don't believe in ancient uh, saying. Hey, glory to, but those things were not help you but it will harm your chance of being saved you should not believe in no cat believe in no broken glass believe in friday 13 my friend the bible said this is the day the lord has made let, let us rejoice and be glad in it friday should not be a day you say i thank god it's friday every day you woke up then god woke you up this morning you'll say i thank god for god waking me up this morning Y'all too superstitious. Y'all too much into rituals and, and, and family custom. My friend, it's time to break the family custom, my friend. 
You, if you're still reading the horoscope, if you're still reading those book of numbers, my friend, you ought to stop it. Because it, it will fall into witchcraft. That's why there are more witches in the church than out the church. Why? Because they call themselves Christian witches. Hey, man, I'm telling people, blowing candle is superstition. Knocking on wood is superstition. Saying your lucky charm is superstition. Horseshoes is superstition. You find it, you find it, you you are you are diamond or or, or or charm and you make your lucky charm. You find a penny and say, This is my lucky penny. My friend, pick my penny fall from heaven. Penny don't fall from heaven. You are too superstitious. And it's time to wake up and realize that it's prayer and believing in God, nothing else. Amen. Glory to God. And I'm going to say this. Knock on wood is being superstitious. You want to have faith in God. Call all faith is impossible. Please, God, he that come to God must first believe that he's a rewarder of them diligently. Let's see. And, and, and next thing before I close. You really hear preachers preach on, 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 on Matthew, the 23rd chapter. You really hear them. You know why? Because a book is a book of, of, of hypocrites and, and, and scribes and Pharisees. Are, these people are dangerous. You pretend to be something which you are not. You are too superstitious. You are too religious. When you're too religious, you don't have no relationship with Jesus Christ. That's why the Pharisees and scribes, they were religious, and they say that y'all keep the keys. Hey Amen. You, 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 you don't go in yourself, and you don't want others to go in. Because you are too religious. You're too superstitious. And it's dangerous. That's why witchcraft is formulated, and you, you are a witch, and you think you're Christian. They don't such thing as a good witch. Some saying that there's a good witches. They are good witches. So what they do good to the community? So what they feed the, the, the community? Don't mean you, don't mean, listen, your goodness won't get you to heaven. What gets you to heaven? Being born again. What gets you to heaven? Being saved by God's grace. Not being superstitious or not being a good witch. Amen. Can I pray for you? Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, this person is superstitious, oh God. Break that curse of being religious. Oh God, let them know that it's not into charms. It is not into a ritual. It's not in the, in the custom or, or old wise fables, oh God. But it's in faith and belief in God's word. Bless this person right now. And just now I pray, amen. God bless you. And I love you all. Stop being superstitious. That's my prayer. Amen.